Gary is with us in Wisconsin. Hey, Gary, welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Thanks for taking my call, Dave. Sure. What's up? Um, so me and my wife, we're newly married. Um, we make about $100,000 a year, and we have about $70,000 in debt. Um, so my question is, we have um, one of our cars is uh, $24,000 we owe on it. The other one is uh, $19,000. And then we also have a motorcycle for 14000 and student loan debt of $14,000. Um, what I'm wondering is, uh, I'd like to attack the student loan first, but at the same time, uh, we're willing to get rid of our cars. Um, the one that we owe 24 on is worth probably about 19000 and the one that we owe 19 on is probably worth about 15000 Would it be better to get rid of those first to three, free up our payment of about $1,000 a month and then go after the student loan and the motorcycle after that. You didn't mention getting rid of the motorcycle. I mean, I'll also get rid of the motorcycle. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yep. But I just didn't know because the motorcycle payment is uh, two hundred and I think thirty dollars a and month. What's the motorcycle uh, worth? Where's the car? Uh, probably about ele- ten or eleven. Okay. So they're all three upside down, somewhat. Correct. Yes, sir. Okay. I think you take the big one and get rid of it first and then get rid of the next one and then get rid of the next one and then you're going to be down to the unsecured loans you have associated with having gotten rid of these cars and getting you some hoopties and uh, and your student loans. So you're probably going to end up with twenty twenty five thousand dollars $25,000 worth of debt instead of seventy five instead of seventy when all the smoke clears, it sounds to me like. Correct. Yep, absolutely. And like I said, I, I just wasn't sure which one to attack first. So, but yeah, how, how old are you guys? Everything will be gone. Uh, 28. Okay. That's how old I was when I went broke and lost everything. So, uh, I will tell you what you're proposing is, um, very emotional to dump all these vehicles because I'm guessing you are a car guy. You're a vehicle guy. Yep. Your wife is probably right. ambivalent to this. Yep. So the the good news about not only your willingness to do this, but to actually do it is you will shock your spirit and it will change shape and it will never be the same. I know that because I'm you uh, 30 years later, okay? And so because I'm a car guy and I, if it had a motor in it, I would buy it. If it had wheels, I would buy it. That was me. And I still like cars and vehicles I've, and now I've got a bunch now that I'm wealthy but um, but but the what happened was my um, I don't know my spirit changed shape to where now I own the vehicles and they don't own me anymore I I don't get the um, little boy child excitement from vehicles anymore it's just a car it's a cool car but it's just a car I drove a Raptor down here. It's a cool truck, but it's just a truck. And so if somebody tears it up, runs into it, I don't go into meltdown, freak out mode. I don't lose my mind because my, the shape of my spirit changed once I had to start over at Hoopty Land and work my way back out. And you don't have to because you're going broke. You have to because you're choosing to. But in addition to the mathematical benefit of what you're proposing, what I'm saying is is it's going to change the shape of your personal spirit permanently, and you'll always enjoy vehicles because you're a guy that does, but you'll enjoy them in a more mature, richer way rather than a uh, less of a little boy kind of way. At least I did. That's what happened to me. So, hey, thanks for the call, man. It's a good discussion.